Hi, this is Suresh Palagam from Customer First Team. Today we are going to discuss about Spark project migration from Compose for Data Lake 6.6 to Click Compose 2021.8. These are the general instructions how to migrate Spark projects from C4DL to Gen2. So there are always two paths. So first path is to build your replicate landing zone and uh, Compose project from the starting point. And the path two, we are going to migrate project definition and data also. And for the Spark project, its steps are a little different. And uh, please follow in the same order what we are performing here. To start migration, we have to install Click Compose 2021.8. And then we need to choose a project from C4DL 6.6 and perform the below steps like run the cdc task the last time before uh, we migrate the project and the data and disable all the schedules enable on the tasks and run the compactor job before migrating this is very important step for a spark project create the deployment package and then create a new empty project on 2021.8 Project type must be ODS plus HDS and uh, please use the new and empty database for the storage connection. To migrate project definition, we have to connect Gen2 Compose CLI and run the command to adjust C4DL project. Then we can use generated package to deploy on top of Gen2 project. Validate the model and create the storage tables. Then the final step is to migrate the data. To migrate the data, we have to generate data migration script using Compose CLI command. And for the Spark project, we have to queue states path. And here in the document, I explain how to get the states path from the task ETLs. Run the migration script from Hive console and verify the data. Okay, let's go to the demo. So here is my replicate task and you can see there are a few changes already sent to shippers table. And now let's check the C4DL 6.6 .6 project. So for Spark project, we have an agent. We can check here in the management. Okay, but we need not use any agent for uh, Gen2 because there is no agent required for uh, any of the project and there are, there are no more spark projects in uh, gen2 only hive project so we have to create hds project for corresponding spark project okay you can see that in c4 dl 6.6 .6, i created a couple of tasks for snapshot hds and uh, ihds and uh, I'm going to run the CDC task last time before migration. And once the CDC job finish, we need to run the compactor job. But before running the compactor job, let's verify the data. Here you can see the data which I selected from the storage tables. There is a delta table and a storage table. We can review the tables from snapshot, HDS and IHDS also. So here is the snapshot table, which is exactly equivalent to your source data. We can uh, see that here. Snapshot having five rows and uh, the same rows exist in source also. And uh, let's go to the HDS. So this is the historical view. If you can see, it just record all the changes, what we did on the source and uh, deleted records marked with one. Current view also represents ODS data and uh, we can see IHDS table. This is also incremental uh, historical data. We are going to migrate only storage table data from C4DL 6.6 .6 to Gen2 because snapshot and other views, we can get the similar kind of uh, data using the views in uh, Gen2. Let's run the compactor job. And once we run the compactor job, let's go back and verify the data on uh, storage tables. Compactor job will move the data from delta tables to storage table. 
so if we run select query on storage table we can see all the updated data means like including history everything will be stored in the shippers table now and uh, if we run uh, select on delta table you can see zero records let's run Okay, because all the data moved from delta to the shipper table. So we finished all the request steps on C4DL66 project. So we are good to generate uh, deployment package. So let's go to click compose and uh, create a new project. So let's copy the same project name and uh, create a project. And uh, select the data lake and we have to choose ODS and HDS for Spark project migration. And on premise and uh, Hive asset, and then CDP, finish. So now we created an empty project. Let's create a valid storage zone connection here. Now we have an empty project with a valid storage zone connection and click compose so let's go to c4dl 6.6 .6 and uh, generate a deployment package and once we have a deployment package from c4dl 6.6 .6, we need to migrate project definition using compose cli command okay this file is uh, in file for next two compose cli commands so let's connect to the compose cli okay make sure you run this command as an administrator okay here is the command and uh, let's run the command with correct uh, deployment package okay let's go to the project folder to see the generated deployment package and we have to deploy this package on top of uh, click compose project that we created a few minutes back Let's copy the path and uh, go to the click compose then uh, deploy okay select the package name and now we can get all the source databases and uh, tasks including the tables and everything yeah now let's do the test connection for both data lake and uh, landing zone okay looks good let's validate the metadata okay now we can create uh, the storage zone okay here the empty storage tables getting created let's run it okay now let's go to dbviewer and verify the gen2 storage database tables okay we connected to gen2 storage database and we can run select on click cmps states table and uh, some storage tables we can see that uh, currently there is no data here and after we finish the migration of data from c4dl to gen2 we can see the actual data here let us connect to the c4dl 6.6 .6 project and copy the states path from the etl steps so just copy up to stories to migrate the data we have to run one more cli command so for this cli command we have to provide a states path which we just copied it from the task etl steps here we can see the data migration script and which we can run from uh, hive console and once we finish running this script let's go to dbviewer again and uh, verify the data okay let's run it and then uh, connect to dbviewer okay i'm running the select queries on uh, gen2 storage tables now we can see the data on all the storage tables so here you can observe i ran select on cmps states 
and uh, shippers and then uh, I'm going to run uh, select on uh, shippers underscore RQ table yeah you can see all the data populated now let us generate some changes on source side then we can connect to the storage database and run some views without running the compose CDC task because compose gen 2 having a feature called live views using live views you can able to see the current data even without running compose CDC task so these live views will join the data between current storage tables and the unprocessed partitions from the CT table okay I am running uh, one of the live view here so the when you run first time it is going to take some time let's see I think uh, this is taking more than uh, 10 seconds okay it's finished header store column will tell you from where we get the data so if you see the column values it is ODS and CT so that means there are two rows it got it from the CT table itself and let's run the live history view and this is also going to give similar kind of data means like from ODS or cave and CT tables it is going to combine all the places to get the real-time data Okay, we can run the CDC task now. Let's generate the task definitions and then run the CDC job. Okay, let's run it. Okay, once it finished, we can go back and verify the same views again. Since we ran compose CDC task, so our storage tables also getting updated with the current data so let's run the storage tables first then go to the views when we run compose cdc task it is going to update cmps states table if there are changes processed by that task so, and this uh, task context is going to be updated you can observe the difference between uh, previous uh, output and uh, the current output I'm going to select the data from storage tables and we can see the updated data on both the storage tables like shippers and uh, shippers underscore RQ so we can see the RQ table also okay, let's run it okay you can see the updated rows Okay, now let's connect to the gen 2 views and then uh, run the queries and the shippers view is going to give ODS view of the data and it includes the deleted records also marked with one and uh, here is the live view we already seen the data populated from CT tables and ODS tables but if we can see the data now it should be updated with uh, ODS completely because there are no unprocessed changes left in the CT table yeah you can see the header store column now all everything updated with the uh, ODS and first time it took some time but uh, second time when you're in the same view it, it finished in a uh, few seconds and uh, the same thing is going to happen with the uh, live history table okay it took some time first time but if you see the header store all values get, is getting updated with the ODS and uh, RKO hope these videos will help you to migrate projects from c4dl 6.6 .6 to click compose thank you so much for your time bye